today we are doing a new video. We are doing monthly favorites. I thought it would be fun to show you my favorite things for fall, not at the end of the season where I show you kind of like what I was loving, but at the beginning. So maybe you can be a little inspired and pick up a couple of these things and add them to your fall seasonal living. So we're going to go over some fun things for your kitchen first. The first is dish soap and hand soap. I like to switch out my dish soap and hand soap for the seasons. So these are pumpkin spice, this one's hand soap, <laughs> pumpkin spice, hand soap and dish soap. I got these at Sur La Taube. There are kind of a few brands coming out with seasonal living hand soaps now. So Myers has one that is also pumpkin spice, which is fun. And you know, it's just, awesome to get a little seasonal living burst every time you wash your hands or every time you do the dishes, which if you're like me, that is a lot of my day. I feel like is washing my hands and doing the dishes. Next, we know fall is all about baking. It is baking season. And in Paper and Glam Planning Land, we have lots of planning stickers for scheduling time to bake. One of the seasonal living celebrations for September is to bake pumpkin bread. So that's a big one in our community. And what could be more festive when when baking pumpkin bread than wearing a fall apron. So this is my fall apron. It is from Jessie Steele. She makes the cutest aprons that you will see these aprons in many a Hallmark movie. They've been in Sex and the City. They've been in so many different fun shows that we all know and love. And I just think it's so fun to don a festive apron and start baking. I got this idea from actually Gossip Girl. When they did the Gossip Girl Thanksgiving episodes, they always had the cutest anthropology aprons. And I was like, I need to steal that idea. So, you know, I put on my, my, um, my apron here and bust out some pumpkin bread. The pumpkin bread that I've been getting for the last couple years is from William Sonoma. So this one is a new one. I haven't tried their spice pecan, but they also have a pumpkin cheesecake that is so yummy. I saw Julianne made that over the weekend and I was so jealous because I totally love that one, but I decided to, you know, mix it up a little. And then also I got their pumpkin loaf pan. How beautiful is this pan with like the pumpkins and the little leaves? I thought this would be perfect and I haven't used it yet. I've just been using like a plain white one from Le Creuset, but I thought it would be even more seasonally fantastic. It'd be more glamtastic with a seasonal loaf pan. William Sonoma also has one for Christmas with a Santa and like reindeer on it. Oh my gosh, I didn't get it last year because I was thinking it would go on sale and I could grab it at the end of the season, which is how I get most of my seasonal stuff. But it, sadly, it never went on sale. They probably just put that back in the warehouse for next year. So I'll be watching for one of those coupons to come through my mail because hopefully you'll be seeing that in the Christmas haul. Also in the baking line, it's also fun to switch out little paper cups. So I've been using these cupcake liners as decor for many years. I have these apothecary jars that I like to switch out their contents for the seasons. And uh, I have lots of these. And if you wanna do pumpkin cupcakes instead of pumpkin loaf, which I've done in the past, these are just perfect. And I have some for Thanksgiving and Halloween and you know, all the holidays. And also what an inexpensive, fun way to just add a little decor to. Now, if we're moving past the baking portion of our fall festivities, I love to also pick up like a cookbook and switch them out for the seasons. I have quite a few cookbooks, but if you're like me and you have kind of a cookbook library, you can gravitate towards the same ones. So I like to switch out my cookbooks every month. So I kind of have one like right next to my stove that I can start flipping through and kind of get new ideas while I am planning my meals. And this one you guys saw I hauled from Hobby Lobby in last year's home decor haul. It's also available on Amazon. And I love this one because it is, it's just so incredibly seasonal. It's just so, so thematic. Like one of the chapters is tailgating with friends and it has kind of a lot of appetizers in it. And then like one of them is off the pumpkin patch. So like recipes after you get in from the pumpkin patch. And I just love that idea. And then a lot of the recipes are also, you know, of course they're seasonal recipes, but then they also have uh, kind of seasonal titles, some of them. So let's see if I can find one. Oh, here's another, another cute chapter, morning frost on the pumpkins. And it is 
ap autumn applesauce and spicy apricot pear chutney. So I thought this was just such a fun, fun, fun book. And it's all slow cooker stuff, which are my favorite recipes. Anything that I can throw in in the morning and kind of smell all day while I work and then get excited for dinner and just like know that it's also done, it just kind of adds a little something to the day too. And I know you guys are all like Instapot over there. And yes, we are releasing Instapot stickers in January collection, but I am still doing my slow cooking and our slow cooking stickers are on sale if you would like to start planning your meals. Another cute little kitchen decor item can be cocktail napkins. So I know that if you're like me, you've been trying to eliminate single use products from your kitchen, like single use plastics, like Ziploc bags and that type of stuff. But it's kind of really hard to beat napkins as far as like on the single use uh, category. I don't know if you're like me, but I'm not trying to wash uh, cloth napkins. So it's also fun when we're doing like little team glam celebrations to have cute little cocktail napkins out. Sometimes we go grab donuts or we're doing a shoot like we did for s'mores day or donut day. It's just so cute to have little, little, pumpkin or you know Halloween cocktail napkins out for for you know just your festive snacks for your festive meals and I actually got these at Crate and Barrel after the season for just like a couple bucks. So that was all of the glam kitchen items but one thing that's also so fun is a seasonal movie night. So I have my favorite seasonal movies and we call them glam flicks in the paper and glam community because they're just community favorites. So I thought it'd be fun to go through some movie night essentials in the fall seasonal living fashion. My favorite movie for just the first week of fall is You've Got Mail. And I had overlooked this amazing fall classic until Susan Spitzer, who's been in our community for since the beginning, she said that she watches this the first week of fall every year and I have adopted that philosophy. So this is my like go-to fall movie. Of course, we're not talking Glamoween, that's a whole different video. But for just like the fall setting, it's like fall in New York and it just has so many beautiful fall vignettes and then it's about like competing bookstores, which is just, oh, strikes right at my little seasonal heart. So this is my favorite fall movie night selection. And then what is better than curling up with some tea? So I thought we would talk about my favorite teas because you got you grab your seasonal mug and you put something seasonal inside it. So my two favorite kind of long-standing seasonal teas is the Harvest Blend Herbal Tea from Trader Joe's and then the Sweet Harvest Pumpkin Tea. So we talked about this a little bit in the last video, but I like to have kind of a go-to caffeinated tea for like my afternoon tea time and then a herbal for the nighttime if I'm just curled up with a book. So while we're on the topic of reading, if you've been around Papering Glam for any length of time, you know I'm a huge reader. It just adds so much to my life. And I often get the question, what are my favorite seasonal reads? And I have a few go-tos. Every year in September, I find myself wanting to read what's probably my all-time favorite book, which is Cold Tangerines by Shauna Nyquist. She is my favorite author and she just has the most beautiful seasonal imagery. There's quite a few essays on the fall season in this book and I've probably read it eight or nine times, but I feel like every fall when we're kind of doing that like back to school for me, like it's very much back to school for Paper and Glam, right? Because we're doing all the seasonal stuff kind of in earnest. And this book is just such a good reset for like the fall season as we go into the holidays because it really talks about you know, keeping the holidays really about those like little moments as opposed to kind of like all of the doing and, you know, which is really easy to say, but hard to do, right? So this is, this is probably my number one fall read. Not probably is. <laughs> and I'll link, I'll link everything below. Everything's linked below in order, so you don't have to hunt around. The next book that is my all time kind of favorite in the classic category is The Great Gatsby. This is a book that it's so thin and you can just, it's such a quick read, but I find myself coming back to this book year after year. I remember reading it my junior year of high school, which was kind of a formative year for me. And I could never really put my finger on why I love this book. And as I got older, I realized how many, how much seasonal imagery is in this book. And we use the quote from it in every Glam Fall collection that says um, the famous quote from Fall about all the leaves getting crisp in the fall. Life starts all over when all the leaves get crisp in the fall. And it also has like a similar line about spring. And it's just a, a book that I feel like every year you can read it and get something different out of it. And I would say the same about Sean and Nyquist books. And if you feel like reading Great Gatsby, we actually read it together for the Paper and Glam Book Club in 2016 and had an amazing discussion about it. One of our girls who joins the book chat live with us is a literature professor who teaches this book. So, you know, professionally. So we just had 
had some amazing insights and I saw things in the book that I'd never seen, even though I've probably read it seven or eight times. The last book I have to recommend is Jen Lancaster's Stories That I'd Tell in Bars. So this is our September selection for book club. And if you're new to Paper and Glam, we read a book a month together and we talk about it live the last Thursday of the month. So we actually just discussed this and it is on the Paper and Glam book club channel, which is linked down below. And it is such a fun way to read together. You know, we're all about community at Paper and Glam because everything's better together. So we have a diverse line of titles at the beginning of the month and and we kind of, or excuse me, the beginning of the year, and every month kind of has a different flavor. So last month we read kind of a heavier book, and this month it's just like really light. If you're not familiar with Jen Lancaster, she's kind of like my older, funnier sister, and that I've been reading her for 10 years, and she just cracks me up, and she keeps a lot of the same like through lines in her memoirs. So for example, she references Mean Girls in every single book, and so it's like I'm looking for the Mean Girls reference when a new book comes out. And this book is just one of those that you will laugh out loud, like your neighbors, if you're me will think you're crazy because you're just laughing and it's cackling like a little witch um you just can't go wrong with Jen Lancaster especially this one I feel like a lot of her memoirs are a little bit products of their time like the, her first one was about like the recession and I read it in 2008 when I graduated from college and it was just really resonant at that point but I would say if you start with any of them start with this one because it just oh she's at her best ever and this is her self-published debut so I definitely want to support her in that so this is our Glam About Town favorites. And if you're new to Paper and Glam, we kind of call Glam About Town the, those, we have a sticker set called Glam About Town. And it's kind of when you're just like, you know, you're running around town, you've got your coffee in one hand, your to-do list in the other, and you're just making a list and checking it twice. And I like to have a few seasonal things in my purse. The first couple things that's fun to switch out is little tissues. So I love these little pumpkin tissues that just fit perfectly in my makeup case. And then some pumpkin spice gum. I always keep gum in my purse. And what better way to be festive than make it pumpkin spice gum? You know what? Pumpkin spice everything. So you're glamming about town. You've got your festive coffee. You've got your pumpkin spice latte. And what color is the lipstick print on it? It is a fall lipstick color. We One of the things on our September seasonal living list is fresh fall lipstick. You know, we just switch out all of the things and it's so fun. So I thought I would show you some of my favorite seasonal living lipsticks for fall specifically. So the first one is the one that I'm wearing and it is Chanel number 96. And it's just like a fun orange. And let's see, along those lines, I have another fun orange for you that's a little bit more cost effective. I kind of wanted to do like a drugstore dupe. And this is NYX Orange County. So this one of course is like, I don't know, five bucks if that. And it's like available at Target. So it's a really good dupe for Chanel 96. Yes, Chanel 96. I also wear 94, so I always get them confused. That hot pink, paper and glam pink that I'm always wearing in every video is 96, so I can never remember. <laughs> in the last video, I was wearing this really awesome transitional berry color for fall. So it is called, and I love this name, it is called Girl About Town. And it is just like, it's not that dark, dark vampy berry. It's just a really, really kind of neutral berry color that looks good on every skin color or every skin tone rather. And lastly, I thought I would mention nail polish. So I love a teal nail for September and this one is an old school one called Fly that was part of the Nicki Minaj um, collection years ago, but their updated one is called Is That a Spear in Your Pocket? And that is the one that I am wearing now. At Paper and Glam, we are first and foremost planner girls. So it makes sense that we would switch out our planners for fall too. You know, you have your latte, you have your planner, you have your lipstick, and your nails all decked out, and you're making a list and you're checking it twice, especially during fall. It can be so busy, at least for me, and I'm sure for you guys too. So it's just nice to like have these little seasonal touches to kind of remind us of the reason for the season. And we actually just released this fall dashboard. This is, or excuse me, this fall planner cover. This has been so highly requested. We used to release planner covers that you can upload to Erin Condren like years ago when we first launched a shop and we got so many requests for these and I finally got them up for you guys so if you are looking for a cute planner cover for fall I've got you covered this one will get you all the way through November and we've got a really cute one coming out for Christmas and Glamoween and all that stuff but I just love the way this turned out and then the back is also a really fun like pine cone leaf pumpkin pattern too so we didn't forget the back the next uh, category in our seasonal living favorites is bed and bath. 
I also love myself a good seasonal spa night. So I have a pumpkin loofah and I love to grab lush bath bombs for the seasons. So this bath bomb I selected for September because the lush fall stuff just came out. So I've ordered it, but it's not here yet. And it's also usually very glamoweeny. So since it's more lushween themed, I thought I'd grab this for September. This is called the Over and Over Bath Bomb. And I love their seasonal descriptions or their just descriptions in general. They just write the best copy. Launch this into your bath to fall head over heels with the vivid swirling waves. This energizing balm with a creamy cocoa butter coating rocks and rolls around the tub, leaving behind a vibrant trail of pink, orange, and gold colored streams. Lime and fennel wake up your senses, making this the perfect beginning to a big night in. I thought this was perfect, right? Pink and orange, beautiful transition to fall. Bath art, so you got your book, you know, you're reading The Great Gatsby, you've got your orange tub, maybe some tea or some wine if you're a wino from Napa like me. <laughs> After you emerge from your bath, you climb into your cozy bed, right? And I thought that it would be fun to show you some fall bedding. So I love to switch out my bedding for the summer and the fall. And these PV teen sheets have been my go-to since they came out in maybe 2012. They're reversible, so there's stripes on one side and polka dots on the other. And they're just kind of like the perfect fall slash holiday sheets and I just replaced mine so I thought I would show you. I was thinking about getting a new one but because mine actually had holes from Miss Sunday the Bear and she's a little hard on bedding and um, I thought that I'd maybe poke around for a new one but I just never found one that I liked more than the the gold from Emily and Merritt. Speaking of Miss Sunday the Bear, the last seasonal living item is for her. So she also gets into seasonal living and she loves her seasonal living toys. When we bust out the big bins full of the monthly decor, the first thing she does is run in and grab her toy out. She loves it. She gets so excited because it's like a new toy every month. And Sunday's very highly engaged. If those of you who've watched the vlogs know, she's just like, she's busy all day every day. So if I can keep her engaged, it's a win because otherwise she will be bothering me while I'm trying to get fresh glam out and she'll be asking for snacks and walks and all these things. So if she has kind of her own thing where she feels like she's involved in whatever we're doing, it's the best ever. So for September, she has this little apple picking cart and it has apples inside the little basket and the basket, the basket squeaks too. So this is like an interactive toy for Sunday that is hours of entertainment. So, you know, we can't leave out Miss Sunday the Bear in our seasonal living. And if you guys have been missing seeing Sunday, she actually did her own fall haul in the next vlog. So get ready. <laughs> it is as ridiculous and amazing as you think. <laughs> that is a wrap on my fall seasonal living favorites. I hope this video really brought the season to life and really brought seasonal living to life for you and kind of what Paper and Glam is all about. You know, the backbone of everything we do is this concept of seasonal living and really looking for what's special in each month of the year and it's really really you know kind of easy to see it this time of year because all of us are holding our pumpkin spice lattes in one hand and our you know to-do list in the other but it's really something that we incorporate all throughout the year which is what the seasonal living lists are all about and you know we plan to make sure we have time for these special moments like your your fall spa night or your glam moon spa night and yeah i thought that this would be a really fun video and if you'd like to see it every month i'd love to know that because I just want to bring this stuff to life to you and make it for you and make it more than just, you know, planners and stickers because it's great to have a beautiful planner, but we want to have beautiful lives that go right along with it. So with that, sisters, I will see you soon for more seasonal content. If you would like to see more now, there's a glam fall playlist that has all of the glam fall countdown. Uh, yeah, countdown. We used to do an actual countdown to fall. So we have a glam fall playlist that has all the fall videos and I'll put it up right now and you can see how glam fall has evolved over the years although i'm sure that early videos are cringeworthy it will be might be kind of fun to see how far we've come so i will see you soon thank you so much for spending a piece of your fall with me